Are you looking for a faster and easier way to set your sag on your mountain bike? I've got the answer for you. It's called Slacker. It's a digital suspension tuner that will help make setting up your sag simple, fast, and precise. So today we're gonna to be showing you how to dial in your suspension on a mountain bike. Every bike has a different amount of suspension travel. Using Slacker, we can calculate the sag percentage best suited for your riding style. So the front suspension is linear and the total travel is provided by the manufacturer. So an initial measurement is not required. However, the rear suspension is not linear. So it does require an initial measurement. So this initial measurement is only needed once per bike and it either needs to be written down or added to the app. If this is your first time using Slacker, we recommend you starting in the rear to find your total travel. So the tools that you're gonna need are the Slacker digital suspension tuner, the wireless remote or smartphone app, and obviously your shock pump. So we're gonna start with our universal mount that comes with your Slacker, and we're gonna attach it securely to the bottom of the frame. Then attach the Slacker using the strong magnet on the back to the universal mount. You're going to attach the seat rail loop, which is also included, to the seat rail. Finally, you're going to extend the cable and attach it to the loop. To get your initial measurement, power on the slacker by pressing the button here on the left. Wait a few seconds and it should say zero. Please note you want to always keep your seat post at the exact same height. It's best to lift it up so that it's fully extended and then reset it to zero as this will be your starting point. Next, you want to find the valve on your shock and bleed out all the air. As you compress, the slacker will start reading the travel. Make sure to compress the rear fully until it bottoms out. The final reading on the slacker is your total travel, and that's what's used to calculate your total sag. So how do we figure out rider sag? So a simple formula is total travel times a percentage of preferred rider sag equals your total rider sag. If you're not sure, check your owner's manual for recommended sag percentage. So in our case, we have 89 millimeters of total travel. We like to ride with about 30% sag, which would give us a number of 26.7 millimeters of total sag travel. You can also use our smartphone app to automatically calculate this for you. So now that you have your initial measurement, you can use your shock pump to reinflate it back up to the manufacturer's recommended PSI or your preferred shock pressure. You will use this as a baseline to make adjustments from. Next, attach your wireless remote or your smartphone to the bars, which you will use to easily see your readings. If you're not sure how to use our app, please contact us at support at motool.co. So next, you're gonna to wanna to get your bike next to a wall, a stool, or a bench, where you're able to mount it in a normal riding position and stay balanced. We recommend full gear to make sure that your total weight is accurate. Once settled, take note of the reading on your wireless remote or your smartphone. If the reading is higher than your sag goal, you need to add air. If it is lower, you'll need to bleed out some air. Repeat this step until the sag goal setting is reached. And there you have it, your rear suspension is done. All right, so now that we're finished with the rear suspension, we're gonna move to the front. You're gonna take your universal mount and you're gonna attach it to the base of the fork. Then you're gonna take the slacker and you're gonna attach it using the strong magnet on the back to the universal mount. Next, you're gonna take your fork adapter and you're gonna attach it to the top end of the tube. Finally, extend the cable and hook it on the fork adapter. And now you're ready to measure your sag. Power on the slacker and it should read zero after a few seconds. If it does not, go ahead and press the power button and reset it to zero. So to make sure that the fork is fully extended in the front, you're gonna to wanna to lift up the bike and you can press power button on the remote or your app to make sure that it's set to zero. Once it's set to zero, you can set it back down. So you wanna check your owner's manual for the total fork travel, or sometimes you can find it on the back of the fork. Once again, the formula that we use is total fork travel times the percentage of sag equals total rider sag. If you're not sure, check your owner's manual for the recommended sag percentage. So in our case, we have a total travel of 130 millimeters. We prefer riding at 30% sag, which will give us a total measurement of 39 millimeters of total rider sag. You can also use our smartphone app to calculate these measurements automatically. Once you have your rider sag goal, go ahead and mount your bike and get your reading. Once you're settled, take note of your number reading. If your reading is higher than your sag goal, you need to add air. If it is lower, you need to bleed some out. Just repeat this step until the sag goal setting is reached. And that's it, you've successfully set your sag and now you're ready to hit the trails. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys need any help at all, please reach out to us, support at motool.co. 
Please remember, like, subscribe, leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear how this went for you. We hope this tool not only helps improve your bike setup, but also your riding. We'll see you out in the trails.